Mm. Here's um, uh, the instruction about how to set up the log shock and configure and actually run with the uh, log shock zip file. First, um, you can go to this URL, <coughs> which is this one, same. <coughs> This give up uh, get up uh, page. You can scroll down to the download link here. Um, I'm using Windows OS, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, then it's gonna download it. Um, I I already downloaded uh, in here, so I'm not gonna do it again. So you can just unzip this file uh, this file okay <clears throat> and you see all these um, uh, the binary files uh, and config files in here okay um, this is it uh, you don't need any uh, thing else you can actually run with this folder this file here the <clears throat> look shock here Okay, <clears throat> but um, for the um, better um, uh, just want to get things organized, I'm going to copy this one and move to program files, which I have for the log shock here. So this is the same one, log shock for, uh, 41. Um, once you have this one, uh, you can run from here. Um, uh, from now on, everything is optional. Uh, if you want to run log shock and then get your uh, output, uh, analyzed workbook to be published, to share with others, or much better, it's a little bit easier to navigate through all the outputs. You can publish it. Um, so you can config here and config file. Okay. Um, so I already did it. I don't use anything else, like I'm logging it, they are all new on uh, and database things here, but um, I only use this one, table server. Okay, um, it's up to you. Uh, with table server, uh, I'm gonna create a new site for LogShark, uh, just for this purpose. Um, logo shock test. Okay, this is the site I'm gonna use. So we do log shock test. So I'm gonna create a new schedule for site admin. Logo user. Logo admin. Good mean password password one two three okay uh site would mean site administrator doesn't matter okay so I'm gonna use this site and this user to publish to my table server. Once my log shock anal uh, analyze analysis is done, mm. okay. So let's your log host. I just screen you one test log user log admin. Right. Good mean. Okay. So once you save it, save it. Okay. So and then, 
and just change this environment here to add my each in here it's already here if you don't have this one you can add this one here so you can run logshark in anywhere um, okay we're done okay so we have done up to here So configure, we just added pass, so everything is done. Um, I just downloaded as a one zip file for test. Just simple one. Okay. So you open CMD with the administrator. Okay. Um, you can get some help from help. Okay, you see the, all the command in here. So I'm gonna put this one here as well. And I'm gonna move this one to see further. Doesn't matter. Um, C drive, C file, and minus P makes it uh, makes all the output to be published to table server, which we just configured. Okay, if you run this, you will see the some progress here. Okay, so this is a really small one, small zip file, so it's not taking long. So once it's done, just go to your site. No shock. You see that the one another project uh, created uh, by Logshock. So once you get in all the analysis is done, and then you can see all the Apache. Uh, hold on, Apache the workbook analysis background cluster and your configuration topology firestore and hyper the waste nested uh, the internal database for table server resource manager um, such a server and feature portal everything else in here so you can look at those each of them each of which of a process which one actually calls some error message or something like that okay that's it good luck so here's some um, all the jump um, uh, the instruction steps here okay thank you